Hey everyone, and welcome to our February plan with me. I can't believe we're already in the second month of the year, but you know, time is flying. As we get older, it gets quicker. So my February plan with me is palm leaves. That's the theme of it. I decided to um, attempt to use gouache. I bought the Arteza 60 pack set. It was on sale, so I got it. And so this is the first time I'm using gouache. I like it, I like it a lot. It's interesting, I've gotta learn how to use it a little bit less like watercolors in some aspects and then a little bit more in others. I've never used acrylic, so it that's, it's a completely like new thing to me. The only thing that I'm similar with is, is the watercolor. I, took some mixed media paper and I decided to draw my monthly cover page and my calendar on those and then I'll scan them into my iPad and then I'll print them out and I'll print them on some sticky sticker sheets and I'll place it in my in my planner that way I can keep these paintings for a reference of how how I'm progressing with using gouache and as you can see I put I have a box around where I'll write February and then I'm just drawing a couple of leaves on there and this is pretty much it and I just draw the box right here and then everything else is done in procreate and then you'll see the finished product in just a second right here this is when I printed it out and I'm just using a paper cutter to cut it out with um, and then rounding the corners on here and doing the same for the date the calendar and I think I did the calendar a little bit too big it's okay in this book just this is helpful there for me for reference if I'm going through and I need to see what date falls where of the month and that's pretty much it for my cover page. Next we have our monthly calendar for us to write little notes about things that are going on in the month year. And I don't do any printouts to transfer over into my book anymore. Everything, all this gouache painting that I'll end up doing is actually done in this, in the book. So I'm using I'm using three different greens, three or four different greens. A really light one, a blue green, a dark green, and then like a bluish, a dark blue green. So I have a bunch of the different shades of color to kind of add a little something into here. And then I'm just playing around with the different types of leaves that I'm making. And it's, I'm having a lot of fun actually doing this and as I progress, it'll get better. <laughs> I know it'll get better. I just, you always have to go through, you know, the beginning where it's, it's ugly and unwieldy. <laughs> but, you know, that's, that's a progression of art and I'm excited to be able to flip through by the end of the year and, and see, see how far I've come from, from what I'm doing right now. This is pretty much all the art I've done. I end up right, like covering the 2020 here just to add a little something. And then I put a drop shadow on all of my boxes to kind of make them pop out of the page a little bit more. I decided not to, other than the very first page, which you'll see here, I'll have a note section. I don't use my note section. I've noticed that. I really don't use it in my weekly setups. So I'll, I set one up in the beginning of the month on the February page and then on my first week I'll end up setting one up. Other than that, I won't use, I won't, I won't add a note page. I can use that for, for other, other, other things, more space for other things. So this is my weekly and daily setup that I'm doing here and I decided to write all my days of the week on these little palm fronds on all these little palm fronds that I have here 
and and I just use the one green and then at the top and the bottom I have a darker green to which I draw um, a little a fuller palm tree I guess a palm leaf really and I like how I change the directions of each of the the leaves so that you can kind of see which one is a different day so I let that dry and then this side which is my daily I kind of just need another background kind of similar to how I did last month where I did one streak and then I just wrote on top of it so this one I kind of just scribbled down some like a vine I guess call it a vine I didn't really know what I wanted to do with it so I used the black Sakura Pigma Micron pen and I wrote weekly at the top and then I wrote all my days and I added the extra little leaves at the bottom because it was kind of empty down there just a little bit and then I will move over to this side write the daily in block letters and then I just started at one which I really meant to start at four but then I was like oh I'll just have to make room and write the rest of the month or the rest rest of the day hours which I got them to fit in here so I just erased all the extra pencil markings that I had on here and then I wrote the things that I wanted to focus on on those specific days my weekly is more like things that I need to take care of in the house I find like do the kitchen grocery shopping bathroom vacuuming things like that and then my daily is mostly things that work related stuff that I want to do journaling um, listen to a podcast focus on my social media practicing lettering things like that so that's what I pretty much use my daily for and my weekly just to kind of separate the two things and figure out what I really want to do each day and through the week this is going to be my brain dump page I decided to stretch out my brain dump page on two pages instead of just one because I've been finding I've been writing a lot more and I filled up my brain dump page for January and filled that up completely which is which is a good thing so I just drew a whole bunch of palm fronds here on the paper and that's that light blue green that you haven't seen just yet so that's that light blue green that I love it helps add another kind of color to kind of make so that's not all same same so I put a whole bunch of leaves in here and I decided to kind of alternate where I was putting the different colors at I didn't want to add too much on this page but I also wanted to kind of make it seem as if the page was a little bit more alive and at the bottom I'll end up putting a bunch of grass at the bottom and I'll use that light green that you see here on the page that I put that I'm using currently right now on this leaf and so I just started filling it and I was like oh this will be a good thing to do so I like the way it turns out it just looks like a kind of a grassy forest that works out really well for me that's pretty much it for my brain dump page next we'll be moving on to my business to do and my business calendar pages those are going to be just really simple really easy my business calendar I just same as every month and I just add a couple of leaves on here to make it look nice business to do I know I'm going to really be focusing on my business in February so I just put a few leaves at the top and a couple of different colors to add a little decoration but I really need the majority of the page to write a bunch of things on here on the business calendar side I think I put a big leaf underneath the business calendar I highlight my days of the week which I haven't put back because as I was coloring in this big leaf here I was like oh I didn't do the days of the week just yet <laughs> I have to come in and write them out and I wrote them backwards so that I can make sure they were at least kind of semi straight I even though I have the 
thought grid. I seem to always just, I don't know, make it look wonky. So this one, I just add another two leaves after that. And that's pretty much it for my business calendar and my business to-do list. This next one, oh, I did add these drop shadows to make it pop out. Like always, I do all my calendars. But this next page that we're going to is going to be my first weekly spread of the month. And since I'm only doing Saturday and Sunday the month, I decided to draw a um, Hello February on the left side and a calendar. And then I add a whole bunch of palm leaves. I actually like this Hello February page a lot better than I like my initial cover page. I really wish that I would have thought to do this instead, but you know, and what will be will be. And so I just write out my days of the week on this calendar and highlight the week that it is, which is just the first and the second. And I started using a reflection section in each of my days where I want to reflect on what I did that day. So I will end up adding that to every single day. I think I'm going to start putting in every single day, making sure I have room to have a reflection section. And I'll go ahead and make up some stickers so I can just stick them on there. So this is me kind of just finishing up the leaves. I love the way it came out with the big, big bright green one and then all the others which are still large but smaller than this big green one on the page. And I do another um, drop shadow and then there's a, still a little room in the bottom so I'll add another leaf. And then I took my Tombow Futanosuke pen and I made my brush lettering a little bit thicker, the downstrokes thicker to stick out more on the page, which ended up looking real good. And this is me just doing those two days and my note section. So this note section is pretty big. I never really use note section, so we'll see if it's even needed any more than this. I took my stencil and I colored in circles so that I can write my date and then I took my Tambo Fudenosuke Fudenosugi brush pen and I wrote Saturday Sunday in notes and then I grabbed a orange pilot pen to write my reflections so since green is my monthly colors I decided to just go against another contrasting color and do it in orange and as you see I wrote personal creation day on my Sunday I am taking making sure that my Sundays are personal creation days where I can do kind of what I want um, it worked out really well for me so far in January so I'll continue it on and I'm taking some of the colors and I'm just flicking some flatters on the page to kind of add a little something to fill the page up and that's pretty much it. So we'll go ahead and do a flip through of my February um, bullet journal. <laughs> I'm getting mixed up with words. So that's my cover page. This is my calendar right here. Next, we'll have our weekly and daily. Then I will have my brain dump page. And then we have our calendars and our to-do list and then our our first week setup so please let me know what you think in the comments below like and subscribe if you enjoyed what you watched here and as always thanks so much for watching